I promised TJ I'd let a balloon go after the service. Nice choice. Well, it's the only one they had. He only asked me yesterday. Apparently, Terry did it for Dawn. Well, we'll do it together. Nick will not come in. No, he's, he's got too much on with work and moving. Send his love, though. Mm. It's probably rearranging your furniture while you're not there. Still doesn't feel real, does it? I know. Amazing how quickly things can change. Well, I'm glad Bert is away. I'm not sure she's going to cope with this. Mm. Decent crowd, though. Bev would be pleased. She always liked being the centre of attention, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, no twins? No, no, Cathy was really upset this morning. Set Heath off. So we decided it was best if they just went to school in the end. Thought Hazel was coming, though. Doesn't look like she is. No, oh, Declan's in a meeting. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Yeah, yeah, she's there. Okay, good. Right. Yet, if you should forget me for a while, and afterwards remember, do not grieve. For if the darkness and corruption leave a vestige of the thoughts that once I had, better by far you should forget and smile than that you remember and be sad. Thank you. When we lose someone we love, for a time, everything around us seems to stop. Things that were once easy become impossible. And we're left wondering if we'll ever be able to cope again. Somehow, gradually, we do. With the support of our friends, we learn to carry on. And while the loss never goes away, we learn to smile again, to appreciate the friends and family that we still have. Because the one thing that death can teach us is that life is the most precious gift we have. Thanks for the spread, Charles. It's lovely. Brings it all back, this, though. If I hadn't wasted as much time before getting Bob's keys. Well, you can't think like that. Huh? True, though, innit? You did everything that you could. The only person to blame for that night was Henschel. I didn't think you were going to be there. Where else would I be? Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's just sick, do not it? Speak for yourself. Actually, we wanted to ask you a question. The answer's no. It's safer that way. Will you be my best man? What about Nikhil? I don't think he'll be rushing out for confetti. Of course I will. Thanks. <laughs> Katie, I will make sure I throw the bouquet in your direction, yeah? Yeah. Um, back in a sec. I've got a table. It's a touchy subject. Right. Well, thank God that's over with. Don't worry about losing folk. There'll still be some left over. I'm not sure that's quite what he meant. That's what it sounded like to me. Don't make a scene. I'll do what I want. We're losing Kyle tomorrow, in case you'd forgotten. I feel like I'm in bed with the enemy. Yeah. Hiya. Welcome to my world. Yeah, you wish. It'll be a long time before there's any of that. So you're talking to us again, are you? Now that your geriatric friend's gone home. If you let us. Well, too late. I'll end up one of these, please. Make the double. You seen this? Our Paul's moving to Portugal and opening up a bar. Taking after his man, eh? I'm not sure this is the best time. It never is, is it? I just want her to listen. Yeah, I know. And she will. Just let her calm down a bit. You know, tomorrow. Hmm. Neighbours. 
Will you be there? Uh, of course I will. <laughs> hey, I know it's going to be tough, but we'll get through it. Even Valerie. Eventually. Oh, me and my big god. He's filled you in, then. Jay. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I was the one that turned him down. Oh. Right, well, I'll take it right back, then, you fool. Oh, come on, you're good together. What's stopping you? I don't know. I never know where I stand with him. Well, that's pretty normal. I think that's what you might call a Y chromosome. Yeah, and I think it's more than that. But he's not had the easiest few months. Yeah, and I'm not saying never. But it'll be when I'm ready. Okay? Let's see where it lands, eh? <laughs>